Hi, my name is Alina and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I will show you how to make giant daisies from crepe paper, how to set up, how to make a flexible stem with leaves and base. Let's make them together step by step. To make these beauties let's check the materials we are going to need. 40 cm floral wire, crepe paper, color green, white and yellow for flower center. Craft glue, hot glue, scissors, wood stick or little pipe and flexible pipe for the stem. First of all, let's start by creating the center for our daisy. For this, cut a 30 cm long strip of yellow paper and then divide it into 6 cm pieces. In total, you will have 8 pieces and a 2 cm leftover strip. Use a pencil to mark the needed length, then cut all the pieces at once. Once all the strips are ready, take the first strip and slightly stretch it. Then fold it in half and apply glue along the entire length, as I am showing in the video. Fold it strongly so it would keep the shape. Then stretch it a little and apply glue. After applying glue, gently connect two parts. Press it carefully and then double check. Run your fingers along the lens and we are ready to cut this strip. Next step is to make little cuts. And to make it faster, just fold it in half two times and make small cuts without reaching the glued edge. After cutting, carefully unfold all the layers. As the base for our daisy, I took a small plastic tube, 1 cm diameter and 15 cm length. Now we need to wind the yellow strip around the tube, but before we need to decorate the center. For example, this is how a ready center looks like. So let's take the remaining 2 cm strip, cut a 15 cm long piece and make cuts as in the previous strip, then we will put it in the center. Twist it into a small circle and add some glue to secure everything. In order to attach the circle to the center, start by gluing a small piece of paper and then placing the first circle onto it. Then we take the prepared glue strip, first apply a drop of glue and twist it around the center. The most important rule is to check that everything is at the same height.
Apply a drop of glue at the end of the strip to prevent it from unwinding. This is how a small flower center looks like and it's about 3-4 cm. But today we are making a giant 50 cm daisy, so we need a center with a diameter of 7.5 cm. Take the next strip and fold it in half. Then, as previously, stretch it a little, apply glue, cut and wrap it around our center. Apply a little drop of hot glue at the start of next layer and then at the end, to secure everything from unfolding. Take a moment to enjoy and look what a beautiful center we've made. But for the giant daisy, we need it to be a little bit bigger, so let's add a few more layers. For this, take the next strip, fold it in half, apply glue, stretch it slightly, cut like previously and glue it around the base. At this point, apply a layer of hot glue to the bottom of the base to secure all layers and continue applying next layer of the strips until you get a diameter of 7.5 cm. Making daisies the most important thing is to maintain proportions, so check what size your center is. For example, if you fold a yellow strip too tightly, you may need more layers. This is how the finished center looks like, 7.5 cm diameter. Gently fluff it up to make it look more airy. And let's start with the petals. Cut white paper into strips 25 per 6 cm. In total we need 24 petals. I prepared templates and the dimensions chart for different sizes daisies, from 30 cm to 1 m in diameter. This chart shows all the measurements for the petals and the center to get a daisy of desired size. For example, if you need a set of different daisies, you will find the right measurements to make it. The link is in the description. The first petal is ready. Stretch it a little in the center and towards to the top and repeat this with the rest of petals. It's more comfortable to divide it into steps. First cut all the petals and then stretch them. Here is how our petals look like, very beautiful and delicate. Next we will give them a shape using wire. Take the first petal and put it front side to the surface. Apply glue to the beginning of the wire, which is about 3 cm from the top, and glue the petal at the beginning, as I show in the video. Press it well and then glue the bottom part. Next apply 3 cm at the end of the petal and place the wire. As usual, the glue runs out at the most unexpected moment. And here is a little life hack for those who haven't watched my videos yet. To prevent the glue stick from flying out, just apply a little drop to the beginning of the next stick and glue it to the previous one. This way it wouldn't fall out and will save you some time. Take the petal. Turn it over and give it a beautiful bend. Then apply two little drops at the sides and fold at the beginning, making small lines to the middle of the petal. This is what the finished petal looks like. This way we will shape all our petals.
When all the petals are ready, let's assemble them to a flower, step by step, petal by petal. Now let's take our center and the first petal. Apply it and mark it with a band as I show in the video. Then apply glue to secure it. Twist the rest of the wire by one loop around the base and cut off the rest. The first petal is ready. If you want to make an even, symmetrical flower, then place the next petal exactly opposite and the next two in the form of a cross. Mark the band line, apply glue and apply to the base. The same way glue the next petals, like north, south, east, west. Finish every petal with a loop around the base. This way you will secure the position much more better. Place every next petal in space between and glue the next petals. Exactly in this position, when you are looking from behind the flower, you can see better empty space where to place next petal. At the moment when there are 5 petals left, turn over the flower to check where the empty spaces are left, to place the next petals exactly there. When all the petals attached, additionally apply glue above the wires as I am showing. It will help to prevent unfolding and secure all the wires in one place. Now my daisy is almost ready. And this is what the back side looks like. 
but don't worry, we will hide it with sepals. For the sepals, let's take green paper and cut out petals from it, twist and stretch at the center as I am showing in the video. Glue the first layer of four big sepals, second layer place in the spaces between. To complete daisy, we need to decorate the white pipe. For this, cut a strip of green paper, apply a little drop of glue and wrap it around the pipe. To make it even more beautiful, let's add a third layer of little leaves. And the flower is ready!
Next step to make a stem with leaves and base for our flower. For it, take a flexible pipe, measure and mark required length. In our case, it's 150 cm. You can mark it even with pencil and then cut with special cutter. Just straighten the tube in comfortable position and cut. Cutting this way is very fast and makes a beautiful smooth cut. But if you don't have such cutter, you can cut the pipe even with a knife. Just preheat the pipe. You can find the video on how to do it on my channel. This pipe is very convenient and ideal for stems, because it can be bent to create natural shapes. If there are any instructions on a pipe, you can erase them with nail polish remover. If you are in a hurry or have an urgent order, you can leave the stem as it is, in white color. But I will show you how to make it more beautiful, making it green with leaves, just like in nature. When pipe is ready, let's make green leaves. For this, take squares 25 per 25 and cut it diagonally. You can draw it with a pencil, but it will be much more faster with a circular knife. Next, very carefully turn one of the parts over, so that all the straps face up, as I show in the video. Then, step by step, glue the wire. In total, we need three leaves. When the two halves are glued, cut the corners to make a soft rounded shape, and this way the leaf looks much more better. Next step is to make a drapery with your fingers. For this, carefully press with your nail along the lens. Same way we make the remaining two leaves. In this tutorial I wanted to show you all the details, step by step, so you could make the same flower as mine.
When the leaves are ready, next step to connect them together. If the wire is short like mine, add another one and wrap it with green paper. Then connect all three leaves. This is what our leaves look like, and now we need to mark on our stem where they will be located. This is 50 cm from the beginning of the stem. Mark it with a pencil and start making the stem. To do this, cut a strip of green paper the same color as the leaves. I recommend using one shade of paper, so it will best fit for all your flowers. Apply it together with the glue to the beginning and wrap in a circular motion until we reach the leaves mark. At the moment when we reach the mark, attach the branch with leaves using additional tape and then carefully continue to wrap the stem as I show in the video. Also on my channel there is a separate detailed video on how to make a stem and base for giant flowers.
and now our stem is completely ready and a quick way for affordable and easy base. Take cement, mix with water in equal proportions. Next, place one or three rods in it, depending on how many flowers and stems you want to make. Fix the position, for this I use tape. If it's a quick drying cement, then after only 2-3 hours everything is ready and you can take it out. Then you can spray paint it with green, brown or even gold color. And finally the last stage, assembling our composition. This is our golden base and daisies. In description you can find templates and measurements chart for different sizes daisies, just like I have here. The next step is to set up our stems on rods. Additionally, you can use a greenery to hide the base, just rub it around and hide the end between the stems. And now the most awaited moment, let's set up daisies on the stems, and the garden is ready to bloom. Also, you can support me on Patreon, this will help me to create more tutorials, and this way I can plant them faster and more regular. Much much love and hugs to all of you, see you on the next tutorial, bye bye!